जब हमारी फैक्ट्री स्टार्ट हुई तब से मतलब हमारे पास दो भट्टी का ऑप्शन था एक डीजल भट्टी और एक सौ डस्ट वाली भट्टी लेटर वेन वी स्टार्टेड एटोमाइसिंग वी थॉट गोइंग फॉर ऑटोमेटिक बर्नर्स विच इज यूज विथ फ्यूल लाइक डीजल और एल पी जी गोइंग फॉर एल पी जी वॉज लिटिल बिट डिफिकल्ट सो वी टर्न टू डीजल सो इन अर्ली टू थाउजेंड डीजल प्राइसेज वे गोइंग अप एंड वी फाउंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कम्पीट इन द मार्केट बाद में हमको क्या सौ डस्ट ही चलाना पड़ा सौ डस्ट में दिक्कत क्या है इसमें साथ में वो मिट्टी रहती है ना ये सब लेबर लोग बीमार पड़ जाते हैं ये श्वास लेने में दिक्कत होती है क्वालिटी भी हमारी बहुत अच्छी नहीं बनती क्वालिटी में भी कंप्लेन ज़्यादातर आती है और जो डीजल होता तो इसमें मतलब कंप्लेन नहीं आती पर डीजल तो अभी ये मुमकिन ही नहीं है कि हमारी फैक्ट्री में हम लगा सके सो वी वी आर लुकिंग आउट स्काउटिंग आउट फॉर ऑल्टरनेटिव सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी रदर दैन डीजल दैट कुड गिव द सेम कंट्रोल्स एज डीजल and still reduce the cost Sanjay Patel, Bobby Abraham and N Manjunath run different enterprises in different parts of the country. But there was one thing that was common to all. Their search for an affordable technology that could cut down their escalating diesel or electricity bills. A technology that could give them an edge over their competitors. And they did find it finally. Unless you work here, it's difficult to sustain in this atmosphere. Sanjay Patel is fully aware that his workers inhale a lot of sawdust, which is used for fueling the furnaces that roast puffed rice. But a year ago, he found a way out when he was introduced to the gasifier technology by Delhi-based research institution Terry through a local entrepreneur. 2013 में मतलब ये कमल जी हमारी एक गोंडल की फैक्ट्री में आए और हमने बोला गैसी फायर के बारे में हमने कभी पहले सुना भी नहीं था मतलब ये गैसी फायर क्या होता है तो उसने आके हमारी भट्टी देखी और बोले कि वो ये तो बहुत ही डस्टिंग हो रहा है मैंने बोला इसका तो कोई सोल्यूशन है नहीं तो बोले कि हमारे पास ऐसा सोल्यूशन है मतलब तो कमल जी ने क्या एक वो मतलब बेंगलोर इसकी फैक्ट्री है तो वहाँ से मतलब ट्राई के लिए एक छोटा सा मतलब ये गैसी फायर डाल के दिखा दे एक महीना ट्राई किया हमको अच्छा लगा बाद में हमने कमल जी को बोला कि हमारे बावला फैक्ट्री बड़ा है और तो आप मतलब वहाँ एक बड़ा वाला लगा दो सीधा जो रोस्टर की भट्टी पे चले ऐसा बना दो तो अभी मतलब ये तीन चार महीने से चल रहा है हमारे यहाँ तो बहुत बढ़िया चल रहा है रिजल्ट भी बहुत अच्छा है मतलब अभी कोई भी डस्टिंग नहीं हो रहा है और कोई धुआ भी इसमें दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज अ गैसीफायर एंड हाउ डज इट वर्क A gasifier essentially replaces polluting fossil fuels with clean energy produced from biomass. For the gasification process, ambient air is blown into the biomass gasifier. As the biomass gets ignited, the combustion process starts and the temperature inside the gasifier reactor increases. In about 15 to 20 minutes, all the chemical reactions stabilize and a steady output of gas is established. This is then diverted to a cyclone separator which removes the dust particles from the gas. The clean gas is now ready to fuel the furnace. The gasifier helps in reducing the energy consumption in the furnaces, thus increasing the profits earned by small entrepreneurs. Sanjay Patel has converted only one of his six furnaces to a gasifier. And here is the difference. ममरा देख रहे हो ना ये ममरा मतलब ये गैसी फायर से आगे बन के आ रहा है पहले मैं बोल रहा था कि जो ये पहले धूल मिट्टी से ये क्वालिटी खराब होती थी अभी क्या है गैसी कारण गैसी फायर के कारण क्या है ये जो क्वालिटी है ना वो मतलब बहुत बढ़िया बन गई है तो इसी के कारण क्या हमको एक्सपोर्ट कहीं भी माल भेजना हो तो अभी कोई दिक्कत नहीं आ रही द गैसी फायर हैज गिवन ड्यूल बेनिफिट टू संजय पटेल यूनिट अपार्ट फ्रॉम क्लीनर एयर टू ब्रीथ ही नाउ सेव नियरली फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज पर डे ऑन फ्यूल हम बहुत खुश है मतलब अभी हमको आराम से मतलब ये मुरमुरा बनाने का भी मजा आता है क्योंकि क्वालिटी इसमें बहुत बढ़िया बन रही है पहले थोड़ी क्या क्वालिटी का दिक्कत था तो इसलिए हमने कमल जी को दो का ऑर्डर दिया वो भी मतलब 10-15 दिन में हमारे यहाँ इंस्टॉल हो जाएगा
Bobby Abraham, a rubber manufacturer, was introduced to the Terry-designed gasifier in the early 2000s. He's one of the oldest users of the technology, which has benefited him till date. In the present scenario, if I were to use diesel, I would be burning something like 120 to 125 liters of diesel every day, which is costing 62 rupees a liter, and which would work out to 7,500 rupees of fuel every day. Now, using the gasifier, I am uh, gasifying around 400 kgs of dried wood, uh, which translates into a cost of around uh, 1,600 to 1,800 per day, which entails me a savings of uh, more than 5,000 rupees a day. The gasifier turned around his business, but Bobby wasn't content yet. He could sense bigger opportunities with this technology. As and when we installed the gasifier, I found it to be a very uh, attractive proposition in the sense that it was very cost effective and efficiently burning the uh, gasifying the biomass. As and when we realized that the gasifier had this advantage, we thought of uh, duplicating it to other factories. From a user to a manufacturer, that's the leap Bobby made. Having got the license from Terry, he spends most of the time installing, fabricating and maintaining gasifiers for other rubber processing units in Kerala. Shanti Porwal was a reluctant customer, but Samir Kanabargi, the gasifier licensee in Belagao, didn't give up. I was not convinced earlier. Then I told him, can you show me where this unit is running so that I can think of this. We went to one place where he had supplied earlier. I saw the applications. I spoke to the ground people who were using that. Then we took all the data from that person. Samir gave me some data also that why should we go to the gasifier. The main two reasons were that, that is one was uh, gasifier say eco-friendly. And second thing, uh, definitely there was a lot of cost reduction. It may be somewhere around uh, 30 to 35 percent. We were definitely saving on that. Rich in bauxite, Belagao is a hub of foundry units that cater to the automotive industry. These units use dry sand to make molds, a critical input into which molten iron is poured. But to get sand with negligible moisture, it has to be heated in a dryer under high temperature. Most foundries in India use dryers that run either on diesel or electricity. Diesel we were using that time and uh, black smoke used to come. So people who were working that area, they used to sometimes complain. Even though we had provided them all the things, masks, hand gloves, helmets, everything was provided, but now Definitely there is no smoke and even though smoke is there slight, but that is not harming the person. There is no itching or anything. He can, without glass also, he can stand there, absolutely no problem. Now the people who are working there, they say, sir, this is fine. Now we are not problem. So that uh, their working efficiency has also increased. Having seen the difference it has made to his factory and his workers, Shantilal says the gasifier has the potential to redeem the foundry sector. By 2014 end or by mid of 2015, uh, we want to be a zero pollution company because everybody knows foundry is a very polluted industry and because of that we are not giving anything good to the society. One has to be eco-friendly in whatever because this is my business. Here I cannot control so many things but at least I can control some environment, some pollution. Manjunath's doubts about the gasifier were laid to rest sooner than he expected. It replaced the diesel burner of the oil fryer in his snack making unit with a gasifier. It took him just a year to recover the investment of 5 lakh rupees. When we were using diesel, it was costing about 7,000 rupees every day at today's cost. And uh, the same thing for the gasifier, when we started using, it was costing about uh, 2,500 to 3,000 rupees per day, costing. So we were comfortable and very, very happy with that. 
because uh, today whatever savings is done, that itself is our profits. Because of the competition in the market, it's a very wafer thin margins what we get it from uh, our products, namkins. It is, there's not a hefty margins for that. It's a wafer thin margins. So we were comfortable with whatever savings we were making. Every day we were saving about uh, uh, 3,000 rupees. Uh, into three uh, per month, it was uh, around uh, one lakh rupees that was the saving. And we were comfortable with that. Today, there are many such stories cutting across different small and medium industries who got a new lease of life after transiting to the gasifier. For Terry, who developed the technology, and for the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, or SDC, who supported this initiative, it is a culmination of nearly two decades of perseverance. This involved building capacity at the grassroots by training local entrepreneurs who can manufacture the gasifier, disseminate the technology to potential users and provide them good service. Today the technology has spread out to all parts of the country across sectors. So far Terry has uh, implemented more than 750 biomass gasifier across MSME units in, in India. There are about 10 licenses who have been trained to manufacture and install biomass gasifier in these units. Biomass technology has matured a lot over the last years. Therefore, we believe that the time is right for upscaling it and for bringing it to new entrepreneurs, for bringing it to new markets. Uh, the project has therefore identified industrial clusters uh, where we believe a potential exists and what is uh, about uh, to be done in uh, next steps is to go out and talk to the entrepreneurs, uh, demonstrate the technology to them and convince them that this could be a viable alternative to the kind of power system that they are currently using in their business. Spreading awareness about the gasifier is still the biggest task at hand. It means reaching out continuously to every potential cluster, entrepreneur and government institution in the country that can adopt or support the technology. But it is a task that must be done. For a country that produces abundance of biomass waiting to be used as clean fuel. For the air that urgently needs to be rid of industrial pollution. For small and medium enterprises that form the backbone of India's economy. And for a vast workforce that deserves humane working conditions. The gasifier must reach every unit and cluster where it is needed.